So I was just talking to my amazing friend, Claire, who is a poet and is basically the next Mary Oliver, but better because just like Claire, not like Mary Oliver. Also, if you haven't read Mary Oliver, go read Mary Oliver. <laughs> She's one of my one of my heroes and one of my mentors. And I forever thank my dear friend Laura Booth for introducing me to Mary Oliver. But Claire was, it was so wonderful. She was basically saying, you know, okay, so I know that what my real divine purpose is, is to be a poet. And she's an amazing poet, by the way. I've already read a lot of her poetry. She's phenomenal. And I'm like, yes. And she's like, but on the one hand, I have this voice. It's like I have these two voices in my head. And there's the two voices that, you know, always seem to be speaking inside my head and it's like the one voice is telling me everything I've always learned and my culture and that I need to do, do, do and achieve, achieve, achieve and if I just try, try, try. These weren't her exact words but uh, and the other voice is like telling me the opposite of that and you know that like everything's perfect as it is and I don't need to do anything um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about this because it's so good. So the other thing Claire said was that she was listening to a podcast this morning and it was, and it said the remedy to all of this crazy self-help stuff, which, you know, I think, uh, the intention behind a lot of it can be good, right? I do think it's to get back to a lot of that self self-help, very broad spectrum, but it's true is to get back to remembering who we are where it's wrong is it's not by doing, 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 right? And so what Claire was listening to said the opposite of all of this self-help stuff of do, 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 do this, do this, do this, is to simply do nothing. And I just smiled so big when I heard Claire say that. I was like, yep, you've got it. You nailed it. That's, that's it. That is the remedy. And I was telling her, so, you know, there's a reason that the Tao Te Ching says, and I'm this is Stephen Mitchell's translation and I'm changing the quote a little bit, but basically, I do everything. I, when everything is done and I do everything, there's still so many things left undone. But when I do nothing, nothing is left undone. And what I love about that, this is what I'm thinking of today, you know, because we're like, but how is that true? Like I have to do so many things to just keep life going. Again, first of all, that's like to keep this body going, right? Which it's when we think we're our body. We think that our body is the one taking care of our body. Is our body and our body is the one beating our heart. But what is it that made our body and is beating our heart and is moving the blood through our body and is sending the electricity into our brain that makes neural connections? And what is it that makes plants grow? And what is it that's turning the earth? Oh, um, maybe it's something that's doing me. And you've probably heard this quote before. I'm not, I'm not sure who it is um, or, or what it can be attributed to, but it's the difference between you're not living life. Life is living you. You're not doing it. And what's and what's what's stopping us from that natural flow from being in it's it's not wishful thinking how can we even know if it's real unless we try it and when we do everything's taken care of that's what all the great masters are showing us when we don't we still think we're the ones doing it but just coming saying that coming back to that and saying that as often as possible and seeing what comes I let life live me life is living me and also, I am the life that is living me, right? Because that's what we truly are. We truly are that electricity. We tr we're, not, we're not the, as the Course in Miracles calls it, we're not the outfit that is our body. We are, the, we are that which is, which is wearing it. We are the soul that is wearing this body to get somewhere or to experience something the same way that or to express something the same way that we would wear clothes or or drive a car um so life is living me if life is living me all i need to do is get out of the way <sighs> right i mean what a what a sigh of relief um 
And so how can I, you know, just saying that I think is definitely something that the, the higher self, what Gary Zukov calls the higher self or what A Course in Miracles calls the Holy Spirit would say. But I also, I loved the way that Claire put that with the two voices because this is exactly what is said in both A Course in Miracles and The Seed of the Soul by Gary Zukov. So in A Course in Miracles, right? And this is the classic, again, there's a reason for these old sort of cliche ideas like the angel on one shoulder, the devil on the other shoulder. So it's like the angel, A Course in Miracles would call the voice of the Holy Spirit. Gary Zukov would call the higher self. And then on the other uh, shoulder in A Course in Miracles, we have what would be called the ego and what Gary Zukov would call our personality. So um, basically at any... So we've spent our whole lives, like Claire said, being, being trained to listen to the ego or the personality. Sorry, that's over here. <laughs> um, and this is everything that's kept us from waking up to who we really are. This is everything that's told us, like, I have to live this life. I have to, li I have to do, I have to do, I have to do, I have to do. And it's like, yeah, just keep, it's going to that's how it perpetuates itself and makes you think that that's what and who you are is by continuing to keep you doing and continuing to keep you hypnotized in that. And when we begin to go within or to slow down or to, to get back in touch, then that's when we begin to hear the Holy Spirit or what Gary Zukov calls the higher self. And I love the way that this is talked about. So the Holy Spirit is... You know, of course, the Holy Spirit's in the Bible, but what's really being said is that that is our connection. It's the voice that's within us that is our connection from our smaller self or ego to God, which is what we what we really are, um, to our bigger self. So how do we know how to let life live us? We listen to that voice. We listen to the angel. And the, Gary Zukov puts it in a, in a genius way. So it's basically, his idea is that the soul, and I think it's basically like there are myriad levels, right? So we'll say, um, his idea is that, say our soul is a pond, my, the whole soul that I am, and then, right, my soul, say my soul is a pond, but then the one soul that is all, that is all of the energy there is, is the ocean. He doesn't say that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna add the ocean in. So say my soul is a pond, and during this incarnation, during this time that that energy is going to choose to take on form, which this energy that is my soul had like, there's there, it seems pretty obvious that it's taken on many, many different forms. We know that energy is neither created nor destroyed. And so it always is. And if these forms are bound in time, then surely it's taken on many forms. And probably there are a lot of times when it's not taking on a form and as it rises in vibration, when it's formless, it can then go as intuition and be channeled into forms and help them, right? That's like angels. That's, that's like higher guidance. Just that those souls that aren't currently incarnated in a body. And Gary Zukov talks a lot about this and let's not forget that his first book was about quantum physics. National, uh, won the national award for best book about science. And then he went and wrote Seed of the Soul, taking his learnings from quantum physics. I love it so much. So back to his analogy, it's basically, so if my whole soul is a pond, during this incarnation, that pond of my whole soul chose a little, a little piece of itself that it needs to work on and heal in this life. And so it, that is like the size of like a, a cup of water. And then my personality is the cup, is the container that that part of my soul is in. So the water that is touching the container of my personality or my body, that to Gary Zukov is the higher self. And that, that is what, so I'm not touching my whole pond of my soul and not the whole ocean while I'm here in this body, but I'm connected because that piece of it is in me and that's like the piece of my soul that is in me now and that is the voice of the higher self. That's my higher self. It's my connection to the pond, to the ocean. And again, at A Course in Miracles would just take that and say that part that's in the cup right now is that's the voice of the Holy Spirit that's connecting you to the, to the ocean of God. So we, as A Course in Miracles talks about a lot, we've seen 
what has happened when we've spent our whole lives listening to this voice of the ego? It hasn't been great. No matter how much we achieve, no matter how much we improve, no, how, no matter how much we are approved of, no matter how much we do, it always seems like there are things left undone. It always seems like we come up not satisfied and we can't understand why. And when are we going to understand that this is, and as the Course in Miracles talks about, these two paradigms are in direct opposition to each other. And this comes back to the, the, old, the Bible verse and adage, you can't serve two masters. It's one or the other. You can't kind of think the ego is right and try and, I mean, that's how you start, you know, you, you start listening to also, you could also call the voice of the higher self or the Holy Spirit intuition, right? So you start listening to that and then you, you begin to wake up, but to finally let life fully live you, you can only serve that master of the angel, the Holy Spirit, the higher self. And when you're doing that, your intention is pure love and goodness and feeling and healing and feeling all of these things. And you realize that all along there's been this infinite abundance and perfection and just love that has been trying to just flow through you. And by you being like, I need to do it this way and I need to do this and that, you've been like constricting it and stopping it and you know, putting all these other intentions and energies out there. And you need do nothing. You need do nothing. So again, for me, I'm super inspired by that. Uh, listening to that voice of the Holy Spirit, the higher self, the angel, intuition. And for me, my affirmation for today, and I hope it helps you, is going to be, <sighs> life is living me, and I let life live me. Or even love is living me, and I let love live me. Love is being me, and I let love be me. You know? Why not? Why not do that experiment? It doesn't actually really matter what happens to this body. That's not who I am. I am the love and the light and the electricity that is lighting this body up. I, can, I was never born and I can never die. The truth of who I am, the truth of the eternal energy that I am. So why not choose this body, this life, this time, this personality to wake up and see what happens when I let life live me. I hope this helps. You know, I, I have the deepest knowing in my heart that if we were, if we truly do this with all faith and all love and all good intention and all surrender, that whew, we experience heaven in the here and now. So again, I'm Virginia Schmidt, uh, founder of Divinity School, spiritual speaker, writer, and forever student teacher. If there's anything going... <laughs> If there's anything going on with you guys that you want to talk about, um, anything that you'd like to hear me talk about, just I'm, I'm here to help and I'm here to serve. And so I would love to hear from you in the comments or you can shoot me an email, Virginia, C is in Kat Schmidt at gmail.com. And I look forward to hearing from you guys and serving you in any way that I can, letting life live through me so I can serve and love you. I love you all. I love you all so much. You're perfect just the way you are. You don't have to do anything. Let it be done.